What's up everybody, Coach Mike here, and today we're just gonna go over a little bit of fundamentals when it comes to uh, not performing the exercise, but getting into the position for our overhead presses and for our chest press, right? So if we're doing an overhead press, obviously we're gonna be able to do a lot less weight here than we will with a flat bench press. So I'm gonna take these 35s and I'm gonna, you know, use my hip hinge and my body to pull the weights. I'm not gonna do it with, like this using my traps, okay? Nice athletic stance, remove the weight, and then we're gonna come back here and what, what you'll see is I'm gonna sit down, but I'm gonna put the weight on my thigh like this. We're gonna try to use as little of our arms as possible to get into position because I wanna use my uh, energy for what I'm trying to accomplish, which is get this set done, right? So I'm gonna use my calf raise like this to initiate a knee pop, right? So that, that knee pop is gonna give me leg drive to put the, the weight into it, the front rack position or to outside position if you're working more like bodybuilding type exercises. So I'm gonna do pop, pop, right? We're gonna do one, one uh, leg at a time. So pop, pop. Now I have the weights to position. Then I can adjust my feet if I like a more wider stance and then I can perform the exercise, whether it's a shoulder press or some sort of you know, vertical pressing movement. And then when I'm done, I'm just gonna lower them onto my thighs, stand up, walk over and put them on the rack or put them on the ground in front of you and just repeat the process all right for the chest press it's going to be a little bit different we're going to be doing it on this bench i'm going to take these 65s and same idea i'm going to use my hips my legs i want to become one with the weight i don't want to be lifting from out here so i become one with the weight elbows bent pull up a little bit and then i'm going to sit down on the bench which is over here with the weights on my thighs all right now we're going to still do that pop pop motion but we're going to be falling backwards after we do it, all right? So I'm gonna pop into place, pop into place, and then lower it, and then press up, okay? When you get heavy, it could be a little bit dangerous, but you know, there's risk and reward to everything in life. So we're here, we lower the weights, we perform, let's just say 10 reps after we're done. I'm not going to just bring the weights down here. I'm gonna be the weakest at the bottom. You'll see people usually drop the weights to the side. That's cool, but the, if you're in a populated gym, you don't wanna be crushing anybody's toes. So when we're done here, we're gonna bring the legs up at the same time that we do a pullover to bring the weights to my legs, all right? So I'm gonna lower the weights, meet my knees, and then stand up at it. So I use very little strength, just technique. I'll show you that one more time, all right? So I'm here. I just did the reverse motion. That's another way you can get the weights up. And then when I'm done, I just bend my elbows slightly, lower the weights towards my thighs, catch them with my thighs, and then stand up. And then we walk over and we put the weights back. So just a little more advanced techniques when you start pumping up the weight. Obviously, if I'm gonna press with 10 pounds, I could just lay down and throw them up. So things have to change as you get stronger. So hopefully this gives you guys a little bit more insight on how to set up bench exercises.